All right, fight fans, this is Sean with Boxing Socialists. Hitting you up but your boy, Kel Brook. Over a month ago, when they announced that we're going to get Kel Brook versus Triple G, because, uh, you know, Canelo backed out and all that, they're like, well, Kel Brook is really a light, you know, heavyweight, you know. I walk around at 175, 176 pounds. Matter of fact, I'm 177 right now. Hey, you're 177. You be getting down to 147? All right, so you, you be putting in work. So, lo and behold, they have the WBC 30-day weigh-in. Now, during this weigh-in, Golovkin's already down to 165 pounds. He only has five pounds to go. Now, on the other hand, your boy Kel Brook is weighing like, what did he say, 100 and 76 pounds? You're 16 pounds over the weight limit. You got 30 days to go. Now, I'm not saying that you can't make it. But if you were walking around a month ago at 177 pounds, 176 pounds, what have you been doing the last 30 days? Have you been training? Have you been working out? Or have you just went to the gym and lifted weights for the last 30 days? Because you didn't lose not one pound, if a pound, at all in the last 30 days. I mean, you just prove on our point that you're not even taking this fight serious. It's like, you already know you're going to get knocked out. It's like, let me bulk up and pick up some weight. And... After the weigh-in, I'm going to barely make 160, and after weigh-ins, I'm going to weigh 175. So if I'm big, at least he won't knock me out and embarrass me like Khan did, like Khan got knocked out against Canelo. At least I'll be a big guy. I'll be able to take the punches. I'll be able to survive for 12 rounds. At least I won't get knocked out. That's the only th thing I can come up with. It's ridiculous that you started off 177 pounds a month ago, and you won 76. I mean, you lost one pound. Y'all leave your thoughts, comments below.